One in every four kids sent home for behavior from Tennessee Public Schools has a disability. WSMV4 investigator Courtney Allen talked to families who've been affected. She joins us now in studio. Courtney, they believe when disabled students act out, local schools don't have the resources to deal with it, and, and the default response at this point is just to send the kids home. That's right, but the families that I spoke with, they don't blame the teachers. They say that it is the state's fault for not getting the necessary tools to schools. You send your child to school with the hopes that they're going to have a great day. After dropping her son off at school, Angela Powell says she often had to turn right around and come back. We, at one point, just started sitting in the parking lot at the school waiting for the call. The call to pick Charlie up for behavior. Charlie has autism and ADHD. And we can put your facts up here. Angela says he was sent home so much, she started homeschooling him in 2023. I felt very relieved about it that I didn't have to spend any more time at school where I would just be punished or sent home. We found one out of every four times a child is sent home from school in Tennessee. The student has disabilities, even though those with disabilities only make up 14% of all students at public schools. That's according to data from the U.S. Department of Education. And so I think it's a lack of resources, uh, both you know, capital resources and human resources available to support these students. Jeff Strand with the Tennessee Disability Coalition says the real issue is understaffing. Local districts don't have enough psychologists, counselors, social workers, and teachers to adequately identify and correct classroom behavior issues. Strand says sending kids home has become a shortcut. If you perpetually kick the can down the line, you're just graduating a kid who is unprepared to live in our communities with us. Uh, and ultimately they'll end up being institutionalized. Strand and Angela blame state leadership, calling on lawmakers to increase special education funding. Both Republicans and Democrats tell us it'll be a priority for them in January's legislative session. I'm having conversations with uh, the Department of Education this summer and fall, as, as well as with our governor, to see uh, is there funding, any amount of funding that we can support or help. If we can put $140 million towards um, vouchers, then certainly that's something that we can put towards our students who are in our public schools who are in need. Back in Williamson County, we have a trampoline that he can jump on. We have a balance board that he can use. We asked Charlie how he thought he was treated at school compared to other students. I think everybody has an extremely different experience, and I can't really compare it to anybody because every school and every person's life is different and based entirely off of life experience. How old are you? 12. And so tell me that a child like him should not be able to succeed in school when given the right tools. The Tennessee Department of Education told us that they keep track of districts identified as having, quote, significant disproportionality each school year and works with each district on improvements. We are working to get a list of which ones have had issues in recent years. We do know that nine were identified in the 2022-2023 school year. Courtney Allen, WSMV4.